Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, August 18th, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is love is divine law. And thank you, Luce. Uh, August 18th was Mahalo's birthday. So this is his first rainbow bridge heavenly birthday. So holding some space for that. And this weekend is Joe's birthday amidst all the yachtiness coming in. So holding space for these late, late Leos and this yacht energy we will be experiencing. Um, <clears throat> so today we still have Moon in Virgo pairing with some other Virgo energies and working with some other Piscean energies, bridging that heaven and earth balance that we're all working to figure out. And yesterday's scope of making sure you're aligned in divine law, spiritual law, feels so potent as I'm like kind of looking ahead at some of our astro energies coming in sooner and later, like and down the line, like down the line a little bit, uh, Neptune's going to be finishing up in Pisces. And that's going to be really potent. And that's going to be happening as Saturn is still moving through Pisces. And so this is like understanding the spiritual realm in our physical world is so important. And so the Virgo energy is pulling that in, but also the yachtiness coming in is pulling in that balance, pulling in that understanding. And as I was sitting there looking at that yachtiness that we're moving into, um, that focus is the sun. So over the next, I mean, it starts today, the wide yacht, but over the next several days, it's that eye of the needle again. And the focus, the big old, it's like a neon pink finger in the sky being like, this is important, is focusing on the sun in Leo with Pluto in Capricorn and Neptune in Pisces feeding in. And my feeling is, is that both Neptune and Pluto can represent so much buried history, <laughs> so much past energies that need to be shifted and it is through the power of love which that was the energy mantra like that love is the highest divine order um love is the highest spiritual law that we can take and shift these things shift whatever whatever these past energies are that are surfacing like sea monsters <laughs> to be dealt with so hold space for that this weekend now it's also interesting because Lilith <laughs> vamoosed over to Virgo and is holding down that presence vibration that be here now vibration so it's like even though these <laughs> ancient sea monsters are surfacing in the astral energy it's not a call to go back there it's a call to hold your presence of love in the now to help move and shift these energies. It's easier said than done, I will say that. <laughs> um, but just be aware that, you know, little treacherous waters, but like love is your doggy paddle. So paddle like a doggy. Um, moon is making all of the connections today, connecting to Mercury, connecting to Uranus, connecting to Mars, correcting to Neptune. That Mars-Neptune opposition, sorry, Mars-Neptune sun, no, what am I talking about? Get the right planet, Mimi. The moon-Neptune opposition is preparing us for a very interesting Mars-Neptune opposition that will be coming in next week, that we're gonna be feeling that tug of war that call to really move in accordance with the divine dance. <laughs> um, so making yourself familiar with divine law according to your, what's the right word? 
I don't want to call it dogma, but according to your belief system, according to what feels aligned to you, I think will support you in this unfolding. We all have different ways of talking to God and understanding God universe. And so keep that in mind. Um, I think that there's a lot of similarities in various law, but I, I urge you to have discernment because there's a lot of distortion in religious spiritual law. Um, it can get a little shitty. And that's part of that Pluto and Capricorn energy. That's part of the yachtiness. We want to put the glaze of love over some of those distortions because there's been control and power plays at hand instead of that energy of love. Um, the moon and Mars in the evening. Anytime we have Moon and Mars come together, it can get a little temper tantrum-y. Virgo is a lot more pragmatic than, you know, the usual temper tantrums, but you may find yourself getting really frustrated if things aren't right according to the way you think that things should be. And this is where surrender to the divine law and bringing in some playfulness. I know I have that in my cards. In fact, top of the cards, bringing in some playfulness will help. And I will remind you of that through this weekend. Bring in the spirit of pray, play, prayfulness, prayfulness and playfulness to help support you in the yachtiness of the Astros. <laughs> um, anything else worth mentioning? Daydream. Take some time. Oh, I'm hearing the daydream song. Take some time to daydream this weekend, especially before bed. Uh... What do you love? What would you love to see? What are you loving to call in? Because that's some powerful energy right now. Oh yeah, some powerful energy. Here we have the magician card, the existence card in this deck. Your playfulness is magic to your intentions. We've also got, got some strong mental energies. We got the three and the four of swords. Um, That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> I love when my counsel comes through. So what I was hearing is like, here's where you're icing God out, where you're not feeling connected to the universe when you're in this space. Where, you know, this could be a daydream card, to be fair. The postponement is like looking towards it. But this energy space is like, I don't get it. Things never work. It can be a little Eeyore. And what came to mind, because I said icing God out, but it's Dr. Wayne Dyer used to say that like being in that ego is edging God out. And when we're in ego, we think that we know best. And there's so much call to surrender now. Recognizing we have plans, we have dreams. It's okay to hold on to those dreams. It's okay to like aim for those dreams, but also hold the energy of surrender because God universe in its infinite understanding, in its infinite creation power, also holds those blueprints and sometimes our earthly experiences can make us forget that so just keep that in mind and getting into playfulness is a really good way of surrendering to that magic the final card i have is the sharing card more music coming through um shine by collective soul heaven let your light shine down but like let the heaven in you shine forth you may be called to hold that space, hold that love in the yachtiness unfolding. So, please hold space for Joe's birthday weekend. Last year, he had his surgery from his car accident the day before his birthday. The year before that, his dad had died and he was at his dad's funeral the day before his birthday. So, we're holding space for beautiful celebration this year for him. Um, and for me, because... Here he is. So <laughs> that is it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and remember who you are. Namaste.